Hey everybody, welcome back to Slapdash. My name's Law, and this is Pokemon Sage. And today, I'm gonna do my best to get over through Route 7, finish the whole damn thing. I've been putting it off, I've been talking about stuff. I've been just going too slow. I gotta speed, speed it up. So that's our goal for today. Even if I have to do some speed ups, I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, I'm gonna put someone in front who is fast because I wanna run away from wild encounters. Mr. Suck is very good for that. from you. Although I kind of want something tanky up front because I don't know everything that's in this grass. So I might switch Gribbles to the front because it's very tanky. Speaking of tanky, you know what I'm going to do? Fuck it. I am I'm just going to go all in. I realize that uh, stone evolutions can make me lose uh, some abilities sometimes, like some level up attacks and things, but I feel like my moveset's pretty good for a tank. And I want to use Otto until the end of the game. The best way to do that is to get the most out of it now. Oh, it's... That has got to be Steel-type. Galaxagos. That is a fucking cool name. Galaxagos. Like, the rocks are, like, floating around it. It looks even more like its namesake. I used my last Moonstone. Well, that's fine. Let's check out... Check out Otto in! Oh, still Psychic Rock, not Steel. Interesting. Oh, that special defense went way up. That's really high for level 20. <laughs> it looks like special attack stayed about the same, and defense definitely went up too, so this thing is a special wall. Fantastic. This, this is top notch. I'm going to put Atsuin up front. I want to look at this back sprite. Let me grab this item real quick. Oh! What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's so cute! It's wearing a little hat. But this is a static encounter, so that means I can try to catch this thing. Oh, let's hit you with a confusion. Defense girl. <laughs> Good luck. God, that back spray looks awesome. And I got the confusion off. Very nice. Kind of looks like a sewer lid. Atsu in back sprite. But also like a cool cartoon moon. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to try to catch this thing. Static encounter counts. I have no idea what a dope pole is. It kind of looks like an electric type. But it's very green. Weird to assume it's a grass type. Though all I saw it do was defense curl. We'll find out, I guess. I'm not gonna think of a name for this thing. Uh, Topo wears half of a broken Pokeball as a sturdy improvised helmet. Oh. Whilst it might act bold and spunky, in reality, it loves being coddled. Oh, we have so much in common, Topo. Oh, I have to think of a name. Uh, you're wearing a little helmet. Oh, his little tail <laughs> picks a helmet up off of its head. It's really cute. Uh, let's see. Helmet, helmet, helm. Uh, Viking. Name you Scully. I like it. Just popped right in my head. Go with my gut. Well, it wasn't an item, but it was a new new friend. Hmm. I definitely want to run away from wild encounters, though, and Atuin is so incredibly slow. So who's fast and a little bit tanky? Buckshot? Buckshot's got a pretty okay defense. And Gribbles isn't that slow. Hmm. It's a tough call. I'm gonna go with Gribbles. Um, okay, well, let's wait this guy. Same sprite as the dude who gave us cut, so he must be a Lumberjack. Hey, I'm Lumberjack. It's okay. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> nice Monty Python deep cut there. Very cute. Cool sprite. I like it. What's he got? Something wood? Or like something with an axe? All pine. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with a leech life. Ooh, that didn't do much. Yeesh. Terrifying. Don't like it. Oh, 
that's not good. Oh, don't hit five times, please. Oh. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to get Hot Twin back in here. I probably should have just stayed to them up front. This thing has a lot of attack power, and Bullet Seed has a chance to crit a whole bunch. Oh, he's really... Oh, that's super effective, too, though. Oh, nothing's going to be good against this thing. I'm in a tight spot here. Uh, well, none of those are super good against Mr. Suck. And I have some flying-type moves. I completely forgot about that. Oh, I haven't used Mr. Suck in a minute. Should have done this from the get-go. Nothing. Just nothing. Awesome. Mr. Suck, save the day, please. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. XP for everyone. Santiago. Oh no, that's not okay. I'll deal with it. I'm gonna get this item. Oh, wild encounter. For a second there, I thought that was the Pokeball triggering and the same thing happening again. Let's just run away. Whew, that was a scary fight. Some of the uh, all pints that I was grinding on a few episodes ago had a really expediff cool. Had a scary ability where if I crit on them, then they uh, got like super attack boosted, and it was really bad. So I'm now officially terrified of all pints. I'm also going to use a potion on Gribbles because I bought some, and I have no idea how far it is till the next town. So if you got them, smoke them. I guess as they say, it's a thing they say. I just want not to win too, because it's probably more trainers on this route. But we're gonna stick with Mr. Suck in the front, quickest little birdie in all the land. Oh, a double battle! Jesus Christ! Uh, all right, I feel pretty good with Mr. Suck and Buckshot up front. Oh, oh geez, I sure hope I win. I wouldn't want to disappoint Susie. Come on, Johnny, we can do this. We just have to stick together. Children. Adorable. School Kid Johnny and School Kid Susie want to battle. Harpy and Quibble. Double birdie birds. Oh, that's actually kind of good against Mr. Sucks. So I'm probably going to switch out. Switch out with the Tanky Turtle with rock moves. Nope, not. Okay, let's do a Stomp Attack on... I feel like Harpy's a little bit tougher than the Quibbles I've fought, so I'm just going to start with that. Quick Attack. Excellent. Brilliant. Gust. Fantastic. I'm super into that defense. Squomp. Oh, Buckshot. My boy. Strong, strong Deer Boy. Gromeo. Well, that's not great for Atuin. But, uh, I think I can deal with it. Let's just drop a stomp on it. Gust. Awesome. Thank you for targeting Ottoin. What? Effect Spore? Oh, okay. I thought it was, uh, whatever. The electrical version that is static. But it just happened to be a paralyze. And lightning effect always throws me off. Effect, for, effect Spore makes sense. Uh, they have a second Pokemon as well? Tulia. I got one of those. Uh, let's hit you with a Confusion. And another Stomp is just killing it with that Leaf Shield. That's right. It's that really cool ability that... Oh, yeah! Boosted my Buckshot. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm paralyzed. I was like, how in the hell does Atuan go before Buckshot? How? That makes sense now. Nice. Alright. Double battle done. Those can be pretty scary. Luckily it was just birds and birds and plants. Um I think I might have a paralyzed heal berry. I also have one paralyzed heal. Um uh, I'll start with the berries though. Those are Literally grow on trees. 
Confusion, Defrost, Poison, Sleep, Paralysis. I got nine of them. Hell yeah. Done. And onward we go. Oh, another Lumberjack. Okay, I already know that he's going to use Grass types like the last one. Um, so yeah, let's stick with Mr. Suck. That's, that's the way to go. Do you believe they want us to chop down all these trees? Well, that's... That's your job. Why would you be confused about that? There we go. Nice. Pathetic. Oh, Mr. Suck. You wonderful, horrible-natured birdie boy. Aw, oh, yeah. Looks like trees aren't the only thing getting cut down. Well, like, other than your Pokemon is in fact a tiny tree, and is also getting cut down. This is a long route. Oh yeah, these guys. I'm just gonna run. I wonder if more of these Pokeballs are gonna be those things. Like, in any other game, there's usually like three or four of like the... the those mushroom things from Gen 5 and the Voltorbs. And Otsuin did really good on the last one, so I'm just going to be cautious before I grab any other ones. Even though I already grabbed that X special defense without thinking about it, but I'll be smarter now. Nope. Otwin, you are not fighting this water dog. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Please run away. Fine. I'm just going to be smart, switch out, and then run away. Because I'm sure I'll fail two or three more times with a speed of 11. I think it's 11. It might be lower. A prediction, though, without bite. Arm. Called it right. Defense curl. Not going to help you against confusion. Work. This thing's just going to town on me hate to see what it would do after it's done setting up. I have no idea what the rest of its move pool is. Probably has something like rollout if it's round. Um, let's get Sorbet up front for a little bit. It's kind of a glass cannon, or should I say an ice cannon? A burb. Well, I can one-shot that real quick. Chomp. Ooh, Sorbet's real close to leveling up. Boing. Awesome. Gosh, I wonder when Sorbet evolves. Is this a town? Did I make it? It certainly looks like one, but it didn't change the map. Without this crane, getting heavy wooden beams to the top floor would be a lot more difficult. Yes, that's what cranes are for. Look at that. There's no there's no route change. What's up with that? So I guess there's a whole construction thing going on, which is why those lumberjacks are cutting down all that wood. So maybe it's like a bridge leading to town. Last time I went into one of those things, I had a rival battle. Um, so looks like the team's doing pretty good, except for Atuan. Um, do I want to use a potion? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna play smart. I know people are telling me to play more reckless, but I just I gotta play smart. It's a fucking Nuzlocke. Atuan is my go in when I need someone to take hits, even though they have nine or seven weaknesses. Dronia City is an incredible sight to behold. Make sure you visit the museum while you're there. There's always a museum in there. Are we in Dronia City? We are in Dronia City! Sick! There's stuff everywhere here. Look at it. It's a box I can't touch, a snow cone I can't touch, or a traffic cone. Snow cone. What's this guy? I've traveled all over the region, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's to always have a wide variety of Pokemon to help you overcome any obstacle. Huh. So that guy's a Pokemon trainer. Is there a helipad on this Poke Center? That's cool. Oh, there's a mart next to it, built into it. Very nice. to get in there from the inside. I kind of want to see what this thing looks like. Wow. 
was kind of... Wait, well, the Mart was... I mean, I realize they're probably just advertising it, but the Mart would be over here based on what I saw outside. Let's talk to everybody. I used to be a nurse when I was young. I was quite the looker. Kick, 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 kick. Oh, it's Sequoia. Oh, hey, Law. Long time no see. I'm supposed to be here doing some field research for the professor. I'd rather just go sightseeing. On top of that, he wanted me to look out for this abandoned egg he found. I'm not sure I'll have time to do uh, to, to care for it. How about this? If you've registered 40 Pokemon in your Pokedex, I'll give you this rare Pokemon egg as a reward. Have you registered 40 Pokemon? I have no idea. Just kidding. I don't care. Take the... Oh. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's so good. I love that. Hmm? Your party's full. Go to the PC over there and make room. I love that they did that. What a fun stab But the other th games that have a pointless ranking of your Pokedex. All right, let's move someone into the box for a sec. Oh, I'm going to check out our new helmet friend. All right, level 16 Doppel. Lonely Nature. Is that neutral? That's not neutral. That's an attack boost and a defense drop. Uh, yeah. Ugh, that is a horrible defense. Ugh, and special defense. Prankster gives priority to a status move. Okay. Defense girl rollout. That's the attack move and copycat. I did see that. Before it and fails if no other move. Okay. Yeah, not not a, the best little cool. I mean I could see like having maybe some fun builds if it gets some neat abilities, but uh nothing nothing too helpful right now. Boy, I wanna use Potter. What a good what a good pup. Oh yeah, I was supposed to put something in the box. I got distracted by our new friend. Uh, let's, uh, let's let Sorbet go play with, uh, a little sniff for a minute. You can just sit right here. Next to your buddy. Alright, let's see this egg. Made room? Sweet. Here you go. Cool. All you have to do is walk around and it'll hatch into a beautiful bundle of responsibility. Oh, boy. I owe you a million. I'm sure you'll be a great mama. I'm going to check out the local sites later. Cool. Uh, so maybe between episodes I'll just walk around until I can uh, get that uh, egg to hatch. I really don't like being interrupted while I'm out exploring, so I keep a full stock of repels at all times. Yeah, if I could afford it, I probably would. I'm trying to save my money. The advanced facilities at this Pokemon Center mean that they can offer specialist care for when a Pokemon is sick or injured beyond what happens in a battle. I don't know what that means. This Pokemon Center is considered by many to be the best in all of your boss. They even have a helipad so that your Pokemon from far away can be flown here for treatment. Yeah, I saw that. All right, let's see what they have at the store. Welcome, how many eyes there of you? Looks like the same spread as the last store. I've only made like a, looks like a thousand since the last time. Maybe I'll buy a couple great balls. Gosh, they're expensive. Fine, no. I... Please come again. So I'm, I'm willing to bet that this uh, town has a gym in it, since we haven't seen one in a while. And I feel like someone told me that I needed the Dronia City gym badge in order to use my cut TM. That's what it was from. Cut HM, sorry. But does that mean that the exits are probably all blocked off? South, Route 9. Well, now's the perfect time to find out. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Ah, well, let's grab some berries and catch a new encounter. Wait a second, I have an egg in my party. Uh, let's get jewels up front. I don't need a full party to catch a new Pokemon. Like that does that doesn't actually matter. Three cherry berries. Okay. Thank you. Persimmon berries. Persim. Pekka berries. Thank you very much. Yeah, we can wrap up this episode with a new encounter and hopefully I can catch it. Um, so I'm going to leave with jewels so that its static can possibly paralyze it because I'm not sitting on a lot of other, you know. Oh, it's another Potter. Hi. I'm just going to, I'm just going to fry you to death. Bye, 
Bye, Bubbly. Let's see what else is on this route. <laughs> doodly doodly do. Oh, another potter. There's a lot of potters here. Come on, something new. Not that I've been super good about switching things out. I did put Autoin in the party, though. Autoin's pretty friggin' dope. And now that they're evolved, I love them even more. Honestly, Galaxagos. Can't get over how cool that name is. Oh, it's a quibble. Great. Fantastic. Well, I'm just gonna hit you with a Sonic Boom. I missed? What the fuck? I didn't think Sonic Boom had that bad of an accuracy. Okay, well, two of those will be perfect. Can't crit with Sonic Boom. Perfecto Thief. Oh, okay, well, that's an interesting move, at least. There you go. Thing that I don't need in the slightest. What? What? Uh, I'm really glad that that failed. Because, like, wow, well, I don't really need a quibble. I don't want to waste this entire route with no catch. It busted out on the first try? It has, like, a hit point left. What the fuck? <laughs> quibble, the rascal Pokemon. Hmm, irritable and immature. Quibble squawks loudly when it doesn't get its way. It picks on smaller Pokemon, but it's quick to flee when the target fights back. So that's what that whirlwind represents, I guess. And we gotta give it a nickname. We already used Talent Show. Uh, let's see. It's a little girl quibble. I'm gonna name it Maggie Pie. Why not? That sounds cute. Boy, that was a dumb encounter. I kinda wanna see what else is here, just so I know what I lost out on. Stoked on that quibble. More potters. Super duper. Honestly, attacking them is almost as fast as just running away. That free XP. I'm not gonna complain about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's one of these little guys. Pomperunt. Alright, well, now I know. That would have been nice. I don't have anything dark on the team. I mean, I have some dark moves. Sorbet has bite. And Buckshot has bite. Um, yeah, well, we'll look at the stats on Quibble anyway, just to be traditional. Let's see. Uh, it's got a naughty nature. That's an attack boost. Special defense boost. That's pretty good nature, actually. Um, rivalry. Deals more damage to a foe of the same gender. Okay, that's cool. It's a fairly, fairly solid ability. Fairly solid moveset. Gust's not too bad. Thief, pretty good. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad, little friend. Tour at another time and place, you'd be on my team, but not not in this Nuzlocke anytime soon, unless things go horribly awry. Um, so we're going to top off, and we're going to sign out for the day. Thank you for joining me for this episode. Thanks for helping me get through Route 7. Um, if you don't think your support helped me do that, then you are wrong, because knowing that there are people watching and giving me feedback is what motivates me to keep playing this super fun, awesome game uh, like this. Otherwise, I'd just be doing it on my own, probably not even Nuzlocke style. And that's not nearly as fun for me. So thank you all. Um, if you feel the same way, I'd really appreciate it if you click that like button and the subscribe button if you want to follow what Slapdash is working on. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the near future. Very excited to work on some new projects. And until next time, I think you're pretty cool.